Welcome back to Together We Can's monthly action items. My name is Rob Crane. I'm a personal injury attorney in Dallas, Texas. And along with my friend, Pastor Richie Butler, we are co-founders of Together We Can. This month is Women's History Month. And in past years, we have taken an in-depth historical look going back to the early days in American history and the long fight, the long struggle by women and their allies to gain greater equality in America. This year, we're going to take a more recent historical look and really kind of pick up in the 1970s. As those of you who were around then likely recall, there was this movement for the passage of the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment. And although it did not ultimately pass, it brought much greater awareness to the disparity um, and inequalities that existed and remained in America, not just legally, but also culturally, societally. And this year, we're going to pick up with a National Archives video that was done in the, I'm guessing, late 1970s, mid to late 1970s, as Rosalind Carter hosts a portion of this. And as you will see what... Um, is happening not only in America, but also in the world at this time. And the great efforts by so many leaders to be conscious and aware of what is happening globally and how the disparities in other countries is even greater than what was happening at that time in America. And as we have learned through our various uh, series here at Together We Can, you know, we've got these things we look back on in history and we, again, we look them in the eye and we don't judge them in America. And one of the positive things we see is we see America leading um, in many ways. And there are areas where we were further behind, but there are also many areas where we have this complicated history in our country and the leading of women in the area of equality goes beyond our borders and reaches out to women everywhere in the globe. And from that historical uh, video, we move forward to some of the inequalities that have been overcome in America and looking at the fight that has taken place in various sectors um, within our country and the great accomplishments that have been made by the efforts of so many. Um, and then we move forward with a, a look at our leadership traits and qualities and how there are leadership strengths that women more frequently bring to settings in America, uh, more so than men. And, and also, as we look at those leadership strengths of women, we also look at what traditionally men bring in their leadership approaches. And the importance of recognizing and appreciating what we bring and how they can complement one another in our leadership qualities. And it's something that corporate America is becoming much greater, uh, more knowledgeable of and more aware of as they appreciate that they will become more efficient, they will become better companies, as they appreciate that there are elements um, that are brought by different people of different traits and recognize that their workforce will benefit from these different elements that we all have. And it's something that I think we all need to be more aware of um, and that uh, I need to be more aware of and appreciate more things that people bring, the approach they bring from different um, personality uh, qualities, different leadership qualities that uh, can make us all better in our various settings. So we hope that you enjoy this month's action items and we look forward to seeing you back next month.